Lydia, could you calm down? Don't you tell me to calm down, Mr. Marriage Pusher Man! <laughs> How could you advise Romeo and Tessa to elope to St. Louis? Hightower, you didn't! Oh, come on, now that's ridiculous. Romeo was talking to me about how frustrated he was with Tessa because she wanted to wait to her wedding night before they, you know, before they, you know. And, and I told him that he should respect her wishes and, and, uh, oh, Lord, this idiot. We gotta go to St. Louis. Well, come on, what you waiting on? To Big Daddy's caddy. <laughs> Let them elope. For the last time, that is not what I meant. Look, I'm new at this job. Had you been a little bit more helpful and a little less concerned about your office and your damn chunkies, we could have prevented this. Right. Blame me for everything. Well, three more couples and we'll be a few vows away from our honeymoon. I can't believe I'm here. I'm not even allowed to wear red nail polish, and here I am getting married? But you still want to be my wife, right? Of course. I just thought my wedding would be different. I better go freshen up. Do you have to mess with everything? Now you know what it feels like to have your space invaded. Regina, we are trying to keep two kids from making a mistake that could ruin their lives. So could you please focus? Fine. What's the plan? I'll tell you what the plan is as soon as we switch sides. I got warmed. Quit your belly aching. I caught this thing fair and square. <laughs> there you go, Tessa. Thanks, Bullet Head. It's sweet. <laughs> Mr. Hightower, Miss Gray, what y'all doing here? Romeo. After all that we have been through, I cannot believe that you would do this. Tessa and I are getting married, and there's nothing you can do to stop us. Stop you? We're trying to figure out how we didn't get invited. <laughs> it's just really too bad that your parents can't be here. Mm -hmm. But don't worry, they'll be speaking to you again in probably, what, about, oh, two, three years? You think it'll be that long? If not longer. But who has time for family anyway? You two lovebirds are going to be so busy with your low-paying, menial jobs. <laughs> and you know, it's such a shame because you both had such promising futures. What do you mean? I'll get a raise every six years at Burger World. And we can still finish school. Yeah, yeah, probably when you're in your 30s. That is, if you don't have too many kids and too many bills. Oh, and just think, Tessa, you have a whole 60, 70 years of stimulating conversations to look forward to with Romeo. <laughs> because you know you'll never be able to afford cable. You know, I'm gonna be around most of the time, too. I can be like you guys as Kramer. Talk for a minute. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Yeah, I can't wait for our honeymoon either. <laughs> oh, I mean, I'm getting cold feet. Well, I told you to wear socks. It get cold in Kansas. Romeo, I really love you, and I love being your girlfriend. I'm just not ready to be your wife. You okay, son? Of course not, Mr. Hightower. I've never felt this way before in my life. 